Okay, and here's Andy, who's five foot six, so he's vertically challenged, but a very, very handsome guy who is doing some things right and a lot of things wrong. And if I look at his before picture, I remember the day he came into the magazine, he had that kind of side-swept hair, very, very handsome face, probably a little bit too much facial hair, but then there was that tie that was much too wide, and that shirt that was much too big, and that belt buckle that was much too big. So for someone with a smaller frame, all of the proportions were too big. Even the collar on his shirt was too big. Under five foot seven, you are considered a short. So you need to buy a short. So he is a 44 short. And it's very important that he recognizes that and he goes to people who have that. In, that, in this case, it's Brooklyn Taylors, but you could also get it from Suit Supply, Ralph Lauren, Paul Stewart, even J. Crew does shorts. So there's a lot of people out there that make shorts. So we put him in this really vibrant blue suit. Now, not peacock blue, but like a much more heightened navy blue and put him with a striped shirt and a polka dot tie and really made his look noticeable. Just because you're a little bit vertically challenged, we don't want you to go unnoticed. So we've got this beautiful blue suit and then because he's an architect, we gave him suede shoes because he doesn't work in a law firm. He doesn't have to be, you know, completely buttoned up. We took a lot of his facial hair down because we just thought it was it was making him look smaller somehow, and we wanted to see more of his face. And then we took a, a, a great head of hair and made it even better, and, and snipped the sides and gave him a little height on top, which gave him a little bit more um, height advantage. And I think in the end, we're really happy with it, and I know he's happy with it too, and he's gonna wear a suit every day to work. So he's got 